Welcome to Campus Chat, a look at the people, the opportunities, programs, and happenings at Western Nevada College. Campus Chat is made possible by the Western Nevada College Foundation. Hello, my name is Helene Jesse, and welcome to this edition of Campus Chat, the show about Western Nevada College's people and its programs. Before we start today, I'd really like to thank two people who are integral in the success and promotion of Campus Chat. You never see them because they're behind the cameras doing all the work. First, I'd like to thank Sandy Richmond. She's responsible, she's our producer. She's responsible for putting together all the shows, the questions, the format, um, helping Dave with the pictures, and um, she hopes I, I ask the questions she gives me, but sometimes <laughs> I don't. But, you know, that's okay. So, Sandy, Thank you very much for the great job you do. And then, of course, there's Dave Morgan behind the camera. Maybe you want to pant yourself. No, no. No? Okay. no, no. <laughs> You're much prettier. No close-up for <laughs> no. me. But Dave does a great job, uh, job shooting our B-roll, um, doing all the editing. And Dave, I'm just really grateful to you, too, for the great job you do. So to my team, Sandy and Dave, thank you. And welcome to Eagle Valley Golf Course. We're talking about the 11th Annual WNC Greater Nevada Credit Union Golf Course. Golf Classic. Classic. Yeah. See, it's okay if we screw up. I just want to make you feel comfortable. You don't have to be on the board. I'm feeling much better already. Yeah, yeah. Are you better already? Yeah. Don't ever worry about I'm what you say, really, because <laughs> I'm going to mess it up first. <laughs> so it's the 11th Annual. We're out here on site at Eagle Valley Golf. We're going to be playing the West Course. Uh, this year, and my guest here is Bill Doss. That body that I touched, no, kind no, of, you kind of drew away from me. You rubbed that a little. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he's the marketing manager uh, for Greater Nevada Credit Union. He's also on the Foundation Golf Classic Committee and has been for several years. And then next to Phil is Jim Kepler. He's the director of golf and general manager for Eagle Valley Golf, and he's also on the Golf Classic Committee. So welcome. Thanks for being here. Thanks, Thanks for, for having us. us. Yeah, yeah, it's great. It's always a fun tournament, isn't it? Absolutely, great tournament. Terrific. Yeah. And we, I mean, we already have 20 teams signed up, and it's still. We're still we're, up two we're months sure ago. in July. This will show in August, so if you haven't signed up. You need to. So why does the credit union? The credit union's been our our tournament sponsor for how long? I believe six years. Six years. Six years we've been the tournament sponsor, and it's uh, it's been a great relationship. We uh, really enjoy working with uh, WNC, and um, the uh, the values that we share in terms of encouraging higher education and uh, helping support the uh, the college have, have been great. It's been a really great fit for the uh, credit union, and uh, we're very happy to be a sponsor. All right. Well, thank you because we. There are many worthy organizations that you could sponsor, and the fact that you choose to be the tournament sponsor um, and have been for six years is really it's, uh, it's great. Yeah, well, so. thanks. It's, like I say, terrific for us as well. So you're a golfer, aren't you, Phil? I enjoy getting out once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. So you've played a lot of golf courses. Um, how do you think the West courses? Have, have you played the West courses? I, I love these courses here, and... Uh, when we first moved here, you know, we moved from the Bay Area where it's so hard to get a tee time and so expensive, and, and it's such a great value. These, these two courses here are very distinct, and uh, the West course uh, in particular is just a fabulous, uh, fabulous course. It's a lot of fun. It's a good challenge. And uh, it's, it's very terrific. picturesque. Great yeah. views from over there. Absolutely very spectacular picturesque. views. So the whole valley and stuff, parts of the city downtown, when you get up on a mountain and stuff, it's beautiful out there in that golf course. Yeah, it is. In great condition as well. It's in super shape. And it's both, like you said, both golf courses are great for this area because you have one that's user friendly, that's good for beginners and seniors right. and stuff. And the pricing over this course is tremendous. Mm -hmm. Like today's senior day, for example, on Tuesdays, and it's 20 bucks for the golf course. The seniors get a great value to play their local golf course. And so that's what we don't find the table. <laughs> and, I mean, so that's what we're here to be economic, of course, but that's good for the community, and we have a great golf course over there for any level of play, so it's, it's just a good so spot to be. How long have you been general manager then? I've been in this course now for about 18 months. I've been in the golf business for 30 years, and so I've only had one job my whole career, and it's been golf, and uh, it's, uh, we've done a lot of change in the last 18 months. It's bringing the golf course back to where it was years ago, and it's, it's always been a great facility. just got kind of you know, a little tarnished. For a few years, and we're just sprucing up. You again. have it's really great. done a remarkable job in 18 months. I mean, we, I know, uh, we've been coming here. We had the first golf tournament for Western Nevada College in 11 years ago. We we were here because of Mike McGee and Wes Myers. They were on the Carson City Municipal Golf Corporation in Eagle Valley, and 
Uh, so I've seen a lot of changes at this course over the past uh, 11 years. So you've really done a great job. And yeah, we're excited about it, and the community's here. excited about it, and it's and they're supporting us as well. We have a lot of people in the community come out and help us do stuff and donate stuff and time, and it's been great. And so it's like I said, this is a hometown golf course. The Carson City owns it, and it's one of the only 36 full facilities in the nation that's run by a city and it's owned by a city and, and it's been great. You know, we've got new golf carts coming we're just doing lots of stuff out here that's been great for the community. So we're, we're happy about it. Yeah. And we do stuff like this tournament which is a, a great tournament to fundraise. Golf tournaments can raise money and we do anything we can to help local you know, fundraising people make money and so yeah. it's, and we're good at it and you guys are very good at it. Yeah, I'll, I'll never forget, we only have like, like uh, half a minute left for this segment um, but I just have to tell the story. We had a Rolls Royce for auction or for sale and we were selling raffle tickets. They were like 11 for 100 bucks. <laughs> and so we sold tickets to the Carson City Municipal. We sold some tickets to Mike McKee. He had the last minute and I'll be darned if they didn't win it. They what were shocked rumble. when we pulled that out and went with Eagle Valley Golf. You do we have, do we have a roll course lined up for our round of no. <laughs> sure? no, we don't. Can we work on that? Right. We're, we're, good. we're working on it. Yeah. We're, we're working on a lot of raffle prizes and some great uh, tea that prizes nice, for everybody. That would be that would be sweet. Okay, yeah. so hang with us. We'll be right back with Phil and Jim talking about the 11th annual Golf Classic. Welcome back to Campus Chat. My name is Helene Jesse, and, I, and I'm here with Phil Doss and Jim Kepler. Phil is from the Credit Union. <laughs> Say that, that again. And Jim, GM and Director of Golf for Eagle Valley. And so let's talk a little bit about what the Golf Classic offers for golfers. So you've golfed, you both have golfed it. You won it last year, or took second, huh? right? Won it, but kind of... We, we gave got, the price to other people. Gave the price to other people. Well, it's the so, correct thing to do. Yeah. There we go. So what events or what types of things can golfers expect from this tournament? This, this is a really fun tournament. We have a continental breakfast in the morning. Uh, we've got a barbecue, an awards barbecue at the end of the tournament. We've got competitions for longest drives close to the hole. We've got this uh, great little side uh, scheme called a poker run where everybody uh, that participates gets a card on the par threes and you match and split the pot with the uh, the university if you win it's a lot of fun we've got a margarita hole the famous uh, margarita, margarita hole, hole. can't do without that can't do without that I always like to position my team about um, 12 so that I hit 17 right about Early. 11 yeah. it's all and then when I get around to 3 I can switch get back over. across get another one oh, all yeah, on the strategy it's, right it's a strategy, yeah, it's a yeah. strategy yeah so uh, Really, it's a it's a really fun day. The whole day is terrific. A lot of people to meet and uh, and uh, yeah. have a lot of fun with. It's a lot of fun. And it's good value. And we had that we had that package, that tea package they could buy on top of that, so they can buy extra raffle tickets and they can free round of golf and stuff with it. So it's a it's some great opportunity for people. It's a great investment for very right. little money. They can get great prizes. Oh so yeah, it's, it's tremendous. great. It's and, really it, and it supports um, like our athletics program. Part of the money is going to go to our softball program and baseball program. We're going to be talking with the assistant softball coaches later on. Um, yeah, a round of golf in every tee package. And then if you golf, you get the tee prizes. Right. With right. the wind shirt and we've golf got balls and, I mean, all kinds of goodies. Yep, we've got a great, fun. A, great, a great tee package that's uh, sponsored by City National Bank. We're looking for a few other sponsors as well uh, right. to help with the awards barbecue and um, the uh, on-course refreshments. And um, there was one other sponsorship available, too. Awards. So, yes. The actual awards. The awards and the barbecue. So... Um, we have uh, we have sponsorship opportunities available as well as some uh, donations. Some well about. Any yeah. kind of donation anybody wants to give, we'd love to have donations. Right. Yep. It's going to be steak, like steak barbecue this year as well. It's going to be New York steak, steak barbecue, which oh, is yeah. tremendous. So. Who's cooking it? Is Bones cooking? Or? No, we'll be cooking it right here. Right, right yeah. barbecue. It's brand new barbecue right. we just put in. So That's right great. Yeah. yeah, I want to thank Dick Campani because, uh, you know, Dick's team usually wins it every year, but he's been supporting us uh, with hole in one prizes, you know, cars on the car trees. For the whole 11 years. And He's been supportive of the stuff for years in the community and that kind of stuff. Yeah. We've always done that. So He's been really, great about that. Absolutely. Really we have, like you mentioned, City National Bank. Um, we already have uh, 20 teams. 20 teams already, yeah. I mean, that's, that's phenomenal. 
Well, I'm getting a major sponsor like the credit union has been great for you guys as well. It's oh, hard yeah. to get a big sponsor like that. It's hard to get a sponsor like that. Just like to get you started. And so, um, Jim, do you offer golf lessons, Joseph? We offer golf lessons. We have junior program. We have a senior program. We have free clinics during the summer, different days and stuff. It's a, this is a full service uh, golf course now. You know, we, it kind of got to the point where I just play golf, but now we've gone back to, to banquets, to golf tournaments, to like I say, tournament stuff, clinics for juniors. We do three, four times a week during the summertime and stuff. It's mm-hmm. a great program and relatively inexpensive for everybody. So that's, that's the whole idea. We're trying to get people back on the golf course so they can afford it. You know, golf has got so expensive because they build all these exotic golf courses. They charge too much money. And, you know, golf needs to be, especially in today's economy, needs to be affordable. And that's what we do here at the golf I'll course. second that. Yeah, well, and plus he's totally reworked the clubhouse, which oh, is really remarkable. you got to come in great food in the uh, coffee shop. Yeah, we make everything fresh here. We don't buy anything in packages. Everything's fresh. The potato chips on up, everything's made fresh. We do not, no package goods here. So it's uh, oh, in terms I'm of the offer that. this year, it's tremendous. So. I'm loving that. I'm a living so, testament how good the food is here. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, Bill mentioned that, you know, both courses are distinctly different. And I guess I know that when I started golfing, you could go out in that east course, and if you hit it wide or... Up you can hit it wide and stuff. The East Course actually plays longer than the West Course. The East Course is probably the longest ladies' course in Nevada. So I, 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 right now we're working on it today. In particular, we're working on moving some tees up, so I have some shorter tees for ladies and seniors because the golf course is too long. But like I say, it's user friendly because it's wide open fairways and yeah. stuff so you can go out and play and enjoy the game of golf. The West Course is more of a target course where it's cut out side of the mountain with beautiful views and there's two or three holes that are really tough because you have to shoot over the branca and the gullies and stuff. But you know what? It's it's the kind of golf course that golfers like to play because it's not too long, and it rewards accuracy. It's not yeah. about distance. Two so snakes, great too. I've, I, I've uh, seen a few snakes in my day. If and you I have only one golf ball in your bag, you can have a very enjoyable round on the east course. <laughs> if you have three to six balls in your bag, you can have a great time yeah. on the west coast. Yeah. Yeah. don't go in the area there. where it's the straddle snakes. <laughs> well, actually, they've been pretty lucky about that. We haven't had many of those in the last few years because bull snakes came in here about seven, eight years ago, and bull snakes eat rattlesnakes, and so we haven't really had much problem with rattlesnakes for oh, years, cool. which is a great thing. You don't want to be out there hearing that little rattler in your back swing. So. Yeah. That's not good. <laughs> you can call them to death. Yeah. Um, so we've, um, let me see. I'm actually looking at the question. Oh my um, so let's preview the cost real quick. Sure. And the, you know, all, the, all the essential right. details. Yeah. The tournament is going to be on Friday, September 19th. It's going to start at 9 o'clock. It's a shotgun tournament. Uh, the cost for an individual is $150, but if you want to, um, Sign up as a corporate uh, sponsor, tea sponsor. The cost is eight hundred dollars, and you also get a uh, tea sign for one of the teas out there. So well, um, you get four players. That we yeah. talked about all the individual. Things. Right, and the recognition uh, in the in the program and things like that as a sponsor of the event. So uh, some great recognition and, and uh, publicity and. Uh, and you get four players too, right? Yeah, yeah you get four, four, four players four for that. Players for the place. Great so day. Great, and great uh, actually, we'll have registration. Costco is sponsoring the Continental Breakfast. Uh, Jim's going to provide the coffee. Um, it's just a lot of fun. Uh, Brian Samudio, uh, from, he's a sports anchor from KRNB. It's been our master of ceremonies for many years. He'll be back. Um, just a lot of fun. So if you want more information, you can contact the foundation office at 445 Three two four zero, or my email is j e s s e at w n c dot e d u. So sign up. A lot of fun. Helps the college. Yeah, it'll be a terrific time. Yeah, we always have fun, and I, always, I have the team, and we always try to beat you guys. But, but you don't. But we don't. <laughs> but maybe this year. Give me more to hold. That's why. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Tim, thanks very much for having us here. Thanks for inviting us. We really thanks appreciate it. And Phil, uh, once again, thanks to the credit union for all your support. We really appreciate it. Our pleasure. Yeah, and we're it's certainly fun. looking forward to it. Yeah, thank yeah. you so much. Stay tuned. We'll be back with the assistant coaches of softball. <laughs> Welcome back to Campus Chat. My name is Helene Jesse, and this segment's going to be fun because we are featuring two of my longtime friends and buddies from over the years. I've known Scott Rather and Louis Sanchez for 
year. I used to have a crush on Scott in the fourth grade when he could play baseball back then. I think that was about the only time you could play, right? That's probably about it. Him and Mike Long. Oh, my God. You thought they were so hot back then. Back then. And then Louie, um, I'm his, the godmother of his youngest daughter, Kayla, and his wife was one of my dearest friends. Still is a dear friend, but we were best friends for, what, 15, 20 years back in the day. So go ahead, say something. Yes, you were. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm going to have to drag it out of these guys. But they are, um, we talked to the head coach, head softball coach Dick Allen a couple of uh, segments, a couple of uh, additions ago, and so now we're talking to uh, his assistants. Louie's going to be hitting and pitching. Doing some hitting and pitching. And what are you going to do? I'll be doing some outfield and hitting also. Outfield, huh? Outfield. Yeah, that's great. Scott is related to his son, Jake, uh, plays for the farm team for Chicago, White yeah, Sox. Yeah, White Sox. And then J- uh, Jesse is playing. He's going to be going up to UNR this year. UNR, that's great. So baseball family. And then Louie, Louie's the daughter, Leah, played, right? At Long Island University. She a pitcher? She was a pitcher outfielder. Outfielder. And then what about Amy? She was track. Amy ran, I was going to do track because I'm doing the outdoor rugby at Nevada and quit doing sports after. Uh-huh. But then Kayla's going to ASU, 12-time state champion. Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> a lot. I speak a lot of myself and Kayla. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. So anyway, we're starting softball. This is our first season. Um, what do you think the uh, – I'm really excited about having softball at Western Nevada College. What do you – as you've been out there recruiting, what do you what do you see out there? Are people really excited? Wait, Scott, you can... I, I think so. I think so. And Northern Nevada has been a powerhouse for years. Softball, and a lot of the girls have been leaving the area because there hasn't been a local team to play at. So uh, this gives um, quite a few of them an opportunity to – Stick around home and play. Well, wow, we have strong softball. Yeah, I and think we really should be. Really baseball, won't it? Yeah, we yeah. should be pretty good right out of the chute. At least we're hoping anyway. Well, look at Dick Allen, ten, ten times state champion. Yes, he's been doing a great job he's with softball a good job. and basketball. Well, Lou, you've been on a few recruiting trips. What's your strategy? I mean, what do you like? How do you approach people? Well, we got a late recruiting uh, timetable. Uh, right now. Uh, we just signed Rubio from Spanish Springs, which made a big difference for us. Is that we had trouble getting pitching. This she's late. a pitcher. She's a pitcher, and uh, we believe that the top three pitchers probably in the state were all on Spanish Springs. And, and you got was, one of them. We got one of them, so I think that's really going to help us. And then you, you you've recruited a lot of Nevada girls for the team, right? Yes, we uh, kept uh, out of the 18 girls, I believe that we have 15 are from Nevada. And three from California. Oh, really? Like what part of California? Uh, we've got one from Southern California, a pitcher coming in named Herman. And we've got two from Northern California, one from Chico, and one from Fall River, California. Now, when do you guys start practicing? Uh, we can start practicing on the 10th of August, and we'll probably going to start on the 11th. Because, because <coughs> we'll probably start on the 11th. Okay. Now, uh, we don't have a field yet at Western Nevada College, so where are you going to play? Uh, I talked to the high school, and I talked to uh, Coach Vickery, and I talked to uh, Mr. Huan, and we've got permission to practice this fall there, and I believe they're, they're going to let us also play our games there if we want to. Oh, really? At the high school, yes, yeah. the high school for the fall. So you would prefer that versus using Centennial? Well, we have uh, the two fields there, and they have a batting cages, and uh, they're not using it during softball season, so it, it would probably work best for us. Oh, that's there. great. Yeah, and so right now it sounds like that's a go. Oh, that's excellent. That's good to hear. Now we're always the uh, so you got the pitchers. Pitching is really critical. It's just like baseball. You have to have good pitchers, right? Mm-hmm. So you got a couple. Yes. Well, we have two pitchers right now, and uh, there are several girls we talked to for uh, for next year. So when okay, we did our right. recruiting, we were late, so we did talk to a lot of juniors too. So you, you know, when you look at the scenic West us. Phoenix West Athletic Conference and the teams in the conference, and how do you think you'll do? How do you think you'll match up? Have you checked it out much? Well, on the internet we've checked it out, but I've never seen them play. Right. So, but, you know, our goals are going to be to have a winning season and try to make it to the playoffs, and I guess the playoff uh, champion will go to the World Series, so right. we're hoping our first year. We well, they, wouldn't that be something? So it must be a little different than baseball. With baseball, you have to win your regional conference, then you have to win the district conference, yeah, and then you and then you go to JUCO. So 
That's amazing. What, um, you know, both of you, it, when athletics first started, it was Louis Sanchez, Lloyd Capra, and Scott Rasner who had a meeting with the president, Lucy. And that's really how athletics started um, five years ago with you, you guys been. coming and meeting. And then um, softball was starting back up at UNR, so you and Lloyd kind of went there, but then Scott stayed, and it was really Scott that got baseball going here. I mean, really. Remember at that one meeting, you said, we've got to have baseball. And, and yeah, it's actually amazing we've accomplished this much in such a short time period. Yeah. Yeah, it is yeah, amazing. Must have mentioned that. Funding. Um, Lloyd yeah. Chapper is going to also be helping us on a part-time basis. Oh, really? Oh, that's yeah. great. So you guys, part this would be great. Yeah. So we don't receive any state funding. What do you have planned for uh, fundraising? Well, we've got a few up our sleeve. We're <laughs> going to vaults quite yet. Or Yeah. Let me know. We, can't, we need the money. You got it. Yeah, if you want to help sponsor right. this great team, you could also call me at the foundation office, and all the proceeds will go directly to softball. It's a great program. Okay, stay tuned. We'll be right back with Campus Chat. Welcome back to Campus Chat. My name is Helene Jesse, and I'm here with Scott Rasner and Louis Sanchez. They are the assistant coaches for Western Nevada College's new softball team. Head coach is Dickie Allen. He couldn't be here today. But that's okay. I wanted to get these two guys on camera and just have a chat with them. And look how excited they look. <laughs> <laughs> they are like counting the minutes. Like, how many more minutes do we have? Because we cannot wait to get out of here. So, we were talking about Lloyd Capper. Lloyd's a pretty accomplished coach, too. Yeah, Lloyd and I have been coaching together for over 20 years. Uh, he's coached at Douglas. I think he believe he won three state championships over there. So, if, uh, if you're a girl and you want to play softball, this is the place to go. He also coached at Wooster High with Dickie Allen when they won a couple of, uh, two of the two of the right. four state championships. I believe Lloyd was on that staff. And he helped at Carson High for five, six, seven. Yeah, but Louie, you've always been an outstanding coach. You've got this eye for the mechanics. Louis was my softball coach, yeah. and those were the days. <laughs> but actually, we won the Nevada. You triple us, We won the Nevada State Championship, the Western Regional Championship, and we went to the Nationals in Detroit, in Softball City, USA, in 1978. And I was always struck by your eye for the mechanical. Louis can look at how you swing or throw, and he could tell you exactly what you were doing wrong to make it better. I mean, he's phenomenal. He's got like this eye. It's kind of weird, you know. <laughs> Look, what is that? And then you always, you always got us in good shape, too, and I think that's why we won for a, like a women's recreational softball league. We were in excellent shape. Did a lot of drills, and it's my experience. A lot of recreational teams don't do that, right? I don't know. <laughs> well, but, Wait, I mean, remember how many games you won in a row? That well, team, it was like it was a, we did. That was a one-year team too, first year together. But it was a very talented team. And yeah. Really talented. Like who was your big talent? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not. <laughs> we yeah. had a lot of fun. Happened out in the best girls. And yeah. Really yeah. I mean, really, Terry yeah. Yeager. I mean, there were some great players. Delaney was on that team. Um, Dana Quirk. Uh, oh yeah, Dana Quirk. She left-handed yeah. shortstop. Yeah, Which was unusual. And I was right-handed for a They were all good. But you have, you just have that uh, coaching ability. I mean, uh, certainly you've helped your daughters over the years. Game it's just edge. something I like doing ever since. Yeah. I was 19 years old. I've been a volunteer coach. Actually, he's he doing it. Actually, he when he he showed up uh, when I was 13 years old and started coaching me. Really? So he was, that was probably one of your first coaching jobs. Yeah, that was one of the first uh, big routines I coached back in 71. With Scott Rasmussen was 13. Yeah, he yeah. coached me for three years and then harassed me ever since. <laughs> yeah, that's how it's been, huh? <laughs> yep. So uh, what's your spring season look like? I mean, your fall season. You're going to have some. You've right got to have now, some fall ball. You know more about it. You saw the schedule. Uh, that was for the 
the spring schedule. I think we have uh, 12 games scheduled right at the moment, or 12 teams coming in, basically. Oh, really? We'll probably play them double headers, maybe even, uh, you Two know, games? yeah, maybe even we'll go up to four games in a weekend with them. So. Is your uh, is your spring schedule like baseball two a day for like a weekend? You go Friday and Saturday, you play double. Yes, actually, what they're going to do with us is um, our we have a tournament instead of uh, we'll have a tournament early and then we'll actually have a uh, a league tournament which we'll play Colorado, so that we don't have to travel to Colorado. So oh, that'll cover nice. that one time. So that'll be nice. We don't have to have the expenditure of traveling away. one more time. Yeah, right. that far away. So. Yeah, travel's huge. Travel is a huge cost to this conference, and that's why we need any kind of support. To, because athletics, um, what it does for the college is that it really stimulates high school students' interest in college. And we have the lowest going to college rate in the nation. We're 49th in the nation for high school students that go on to college. And just for an example of what athletics does for this institution, in Yarrington, our outreach team used to go out and six kids would show up, you know. They don't they could care less. Now, after Wildcats baseball, a hundred kids show up. There's so much more interest with with athletics, and the emphasis has always been on academics. Also, um, you know, the baseball team for six semesters in a row has been academic all-American, which means the team has a minimum 3.0 GPA, and they won they won half of their games. They have a 500 season, so. It's really phenomenal. Scott, so, Scott's take all the blame if we don't do that. He's in charge oh, yeah. of the, all so the academics. Scott's there. in charge of <laughs> academics? That won't work. Oh, God. <laughs> that oh, won't my work. God. What am I going to have to do? You're going to be helping also. Yeah, that's what I thought. We're going to put you to work because of your past experience. So. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll handle the throws at first. There you go. I guess yeah. Louie uh, no, Louis no, had no, Scott no, out no, there. there. Well, how, I can't catch the ball. It's too oh, fast. Too, it fast. too slow. It was oh. <laughs> not fast enough for me. Oh, it wasn't fast enough for you. That's funny. So, um, next up, do you know the teams we compete against in the SWAC? It'll be the same teams with the same baseball, except for snow. Snow. Snow is added because they don't have a baseball program, but they do have a softball, so we'll be playing them. They call it just Southern Nevada, call it just Southern Idaho. Uh, Colorado Northwestern, College of Eastern Utah, a couple one. more, yeah. So that'll be good. It's a good conference. I can't wait to see. And then, um, do you know when the first game is in spring? Uh, our first tournament, uh, actually, our for, for league will be February 11th. And is that away? That's away. And then home. Yeah. What's our first home? Uh, I don't believe we play until April, actually. Uh -huh. we're about, I think we're two months on the road. Yeah. That's all right. They get tough on their own. Yep. And and we're going to be playing at uh, Carson High School. Um, no, I think that's when we're going to probably go back to Centennial, Centennial. or any high school that uh, wants to let us use their fields uh, when they're not using them on the weekend. We can go to the nose or go to Douglas and anybody that but wants to use their fields. For all intents and purposes, it's going to be Centennial. Carson Recreation has given us uh, one of the fields up here at Centennial. Okay. So really back nice at the Carson field. High School and then. Right. Well, we'll practice, during the spring, we'll practice probably that's what uh, it's it's well. it. Right. Okay, so if you want to know more about softball, you can contact the foundation office also uh, for that. Um, I want to thank Louie and Scott for all your support and getting this yeah. started, and it's nice having you on the show. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, and we'll see you uh, next month on another edition of Campus Chat. This has been Campus Chat a monthly program from Western Nevada College. Campus Chat is made possible by the Western Nevada College Foundation.